Today I've got a nice problem from a 2001 Finnish math Olympiad. So it's a little bit of a divisibility or simple number theory problem, although it doesn't use any fancy number theory results. So our goal is to determine all natural numbers in such that n squared plus 2 divides 2001 n plus 2. So when I say that one number divides the other, it means that this number is a factor of this number. Or as we will see, it means that 2001 n plus 2 can be written as n squared plus 2 times something else. Okay, so I'm going to sketch maybe a really ridiculous solution that is most definitely possible but not the way to do it. And then we'll look at something a little bit cleaner. Okay, so let's notice that if n squared plus 2 divides 2001 n plus 2, that's the notation for divisibility, this vertical line, then we see that n squared plus 2 must be less than or equal to 2001 n plus 2. Because if you're inside the natural numbers and you have a divisibility condition, that divisibility condition implies an inequality. Okay, but notice that we can cancel these twos from both sides of the equation, and then we can also cancel a factor of n from both sides of the equation, and we'll see that this means that n is less than or equal to 2001. But look, if n is less than or equal to 2001, all you have to do is check them all. So let's write that down here. So check them all and you'll find the solution. Of course, that's a ridiculous way to do it. That would take quite a while. So what we'll do instead is something a little bit more careful. Okay, so let's go into our real solution. So let's suppose that n squared plus two divides 2001 n plus two. What does that mean? So that means that we have 2001 times n plus 2 is equal to n squared plus 2 times some number which I will call capital A. Okay, nice. And now we're going to play a couple of games. So notice I've got an n squared over here. So since I've got an n squared over here, perhaps I want to get an n squared over here on the left-hand side as well. And I can achieve that by multiplying by something that looks like the conjugate of this left-hand side. So let's multiply by 2001 n minus 2 and see what that leads us with. That'll leave us with 2001 squared times n squared minus 4, just by the difference of squares type factorization. And then what do we have over here on this right hand side? Well, I'll write this as n squared plus 2 times some number b where I'm doing the same product over here on the right hand side, obviously because I'm creating a, an equivalent equation, but I'm absorbing this 2001 n minus 2 into the a to turn it into b. Okay, so this is looking good. So we've got something with an n squared on the left and the right hand side. And now what we'd really like to do is somehow write n squared plus 2 in terms of something without an n squared over on the other side of the equation. And how could we do that? So I'll take n squared plus 2 and multiply it by 2001 squared to make it have a term of the form 2001 squared times n squared. So we'll have 2001 squared times n squared plus 2 times 2001 squared equals n squared plus 2 times 2001 squared. But I'll name 2001 squared just c because I won't need the fact that it's equal to 2001 squared. Okay, now let's box these two equations. So I've got this one right here, which I'm boxing in brown, and this one right here, which I'm boxing in orange. 
And notice they both involve 2001 squared times n squared and a multiple of n squared plus two. So I can take a linear combination of these. In fact, maybe it would be something as simple as taking the brown equation minus the orange equation, and that'll cancel the n squared term out from the left-hand side. So in fact, what we'll get is two times 2001 squared plus four equals n squared plus two times b plus c. So what does this mean? That means that n squared plus two is a factor of this number right here, two times 2001 squared plus four which we can take that and factor it into primes. And that factors into primes as two times 19 times 83 times 2539, so 2539. So that means that n squared plus two is some sort of grouping of those prime factors. And in fact, only four groupings will produce a solution. And the first grouping is n squared plus two equals two. That means that n is equal to zero. And longtime viewers of the channel will know that I always take zero to be a natural number. So the next one that gives us a solution is n squared plus two equals 38, which is two times 19. That means n squared will be 36 or n will be equal to six. So that's our next solution. So the one after that, which is maybe the one that's kind of most obvious if you just look at those prime factors, and that's n squared plus two equals 83, which means n squared is 81, which means n is nine. Okay, cool. And we get one more solution, and that's the solution that we get if we take n squared plus two to be equal to 19 times 83 times two, five, three, nine, which ends up telling us that n squared is equal to 2001 squared, or in other words, n is equal to 2001. And that would be our final solution. So there are one, two, three, four possible values of n. And if you've gotten this far into the video and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, maybe now would be a great time to subscribe to the channel. And also I've got a lot of other really interesting problems on the channel. One right now is on the screen that you might want to check out, and that's a good place to stop.